here the top 27 frequently asked interview questions about tablet compression in pharmaceutical industry subscribe to channel for more informative content we will start with the very basic question what is use of pre compression force in tablet compression process answer is pre compression force is used to form tablet shape and remove entrapped air within the granules removal of entrapped air helps to achieve the desired hardness without capping or lamination next important question why number of stations are always in odd number in tablet compression machine answer is number of stations in a rotary compression machines are always in the odd number like 29 51 61 etc the reason behind the number of stations in the odd number is to provide turret balance if it has even number of stations then both punches will arrive simultaneously on the rollers due to this there will be a high load on the motor this odd number of punches are designed to avoid machine vibrations and excess noise next important question what are the important in process checks in tablet compression process in tablet compression process following are the in process checks done physical appearance description of tablets average weight individual weight variation hardness thickness diameter fiability test and disintegration test next question what is awc awc is automatic weight control automatic weight control or awc works on the compression force at this point first set the machine on the lower fill weight against the given standard limit and observe the average compression force next question what are the different toolings used in compression machine based on the tsm and eu standards tablet toolings are mainly classified as b tooling and d tooling the b tooling punches and dies can be further classified as bb and d tooling can also be used on b tooling compression machine that is called db tooling next question what are the dimensions of punches and dies used for the compression machine refer below table for punches and dies dimension for the punches dia of b tooling and bb tooling is same that is 19 mm and dia of punches with d tooling and db tooling is same that is 25.4 mm whereas punches length for all the toolings that is b tooling d tooling bb tooling and db tooling is same that is 133.60 mm next question which defects can be observed during tablet compression process answer is mottling lamination picking double impression sticking capping and weight variation these defects can be observed during tablet compression process next question why moisture content of granules is important during tablet compression process answer is high and extra low moisture content could affect the hardness of tablet and flow properties of granules in hopper of compression machine in general we can fix the moisture content between 1.00 to 2.50 percent weight by weight of granule mix next question what are the different stages in tablet compression process answer is there are mainly four different stages of tablet compression process these are first filling second metering third compression and fourth one is ejection in filling process the formulation is overfilled at the dies of compression station in metering stage overfilled volume or the overfilling is removed with the scraper blades and third one is compression in which tablet formation is taking place by pressure exerted by punches within the die that is with the help of pre compression force and main compression force in final stage that is ejection tablet ejection happens from the dies with the scraper blades or the pneumatic ejection system next question which oil is used for storage of punches and dies answer is all the dies and punches should be smeared with a thin layer of food grade oil during storage next question what is use of punch polishing answer is punch polishing helps in common problems like sticking and corrosion punch polishing process makes all the operations smoother and also improves the efficiency of tablet press next important question what are the reasons for capping of tablets answer is there are many reasons for capping of tablets we can broadly classify them into the two major classes first one is formulation related issues and second is machine related issues 
in formulation related issues or the problems first one is large amount of fines in granules second is low moisture content and third is insufficient amount of binder whereas in case of machine related issues or the reasons first reason is higher turret speed second reason is when lower punches remain below the die phase during the injection of tablets and third reason is when we use deep concave punches there is more probability of capping of tablets next one is very simple and important question what is relation between tablet thickness and tablet hardness answer is tablet thickness and hardness are inversely proportional as tablet thickness decreases the tablet hardness goes on increasing next question what are the units of measurement for tablet hardness answer is the unit of hardness measurement are kilogram newton pound and strong cop next question when we should qualify tablet compression machine answer is there are three main conditions in which we should qualify the tablet compression machine first one is initial qualification means at the first entry or the when we are going for the first introduction of the tablet compression machine in the facility we should qualify this machine second periodic qualification and the third case when there is a major change in the tablet compression machine like compression rollers change or the turret change we should qualify the tablet compression machine next question what are the different parts of tablet compression machine answer is hopper feeder turret various cams like filling cam weight cam ejection cam punches tablet scraper scraper blade tail or die and ejection chute these are the different parts of tablet compression machine next question what is moc that is material of construction for tablet compression machine answer is all the product contact parts of the compression machine are made up of ss316 and all non product contact parts are made up of ss304 next question what are the two major types of feeders used in compression machine answer is there are mainly two types of feeders available in the compression machine design first one is gravity feeder and second one is force feeder next question what is the difference between single rotary compression machine and double rotary machine single rotary compression machine as the name indicates it is single in rotation which means that the machine who have only one side of the discharge chute two main rollers and two pre compression rollers in case of double rotary machines the machine has both side of discharge chutes and compressed the tablets on the both sides the double rotary compression machine has one discharge chute on the right hand side and another one at the left hand side next question what is metal detector and what are the challenge piece a metal detector is used to detect or remove the metal pieces on the tablets after their compression it is mainly done before the start of the operation that is compression operation and the followed by every 2 hours during the compression process while passing one by one there are three types of the metal detector pieces that we are used for the challenge first one is ss second ferrous and third one is non ferrous the challenge test is passed if the all metal detector pieces are rejected by the metal detector next question what is use of d duster d duster is placed below the discharge chute of the compression machine to separate the powder from the tablets by passing the tablets from bottom to outside through a spiral helix next question what is moc for punches and dies answer is punches are made up of ohns that is oil hardened non shrinking steel and dies are made up of hcsc that is high carbon and high chromium steel next question what is formula for friability test person friability is equal to w1 minus w2 divided by w1 into 100 whereas w1 is weight of tablets before friability test and w2 is weight of tablets after friability test next question how much weight variation is allowed for the compressed tablets answer is for tablets having the weight 80 mg or less than 80 mg the standard deviation allowed is 10% whereas 
tablets of, of having weight more than 80 mg and less than 250 mg average weight variation allowed is equal to 7.5% deviation and for the weight of 250 mg or the more than that the average percent deviation allowed is 7.5% next important question how many tablets are used for fiability testing as per usp chapter 1216 Answer is for tablets with a unit weight equal to or less than the 650 mg take the sample of whole tablets as near as possible to 6.5 g whereas for the tablets with unit weight of more than 650 g take minimum 10 samples or the 10 tablets for fiability test and the last question is why discs are used in disintegration test apparatus Answer is the discs are used for tablets that are tend to float during the disintegration testing. The disc helps to ensure submersion of dosage forms and the necessary surface wetting to facilitate disintegration. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.